I'd also like to raise with your leader that there's a delegation of the European Parliament Committee on Gender Equality visiting Dublin this September. It's a, the committee is FEM. They currently have a draft itinerary which has the meeting with the Abortion Rights Campaign and the National Women's Council and then meeting the Minister for Justice. Now it would be highly inappropriate for an EU parliamentary committee to take a side in a domestic debate on abortion, in particular where that issue has nothing to do with this country's EU membership and given our constitutional protection for the unborn child. As matters stand, this committee plans to meet abortion advocates without meeting NGOs and human rights groups who defend the rights of women in pregnancy and their unborn children. That is very troubling and I intend to raise it again unless they change their partisan stance and I would ask the leader to intervene with the minister that the minister should make the point that there could be no question of the minister for justice granting such a meeting in such circumstances. Just concluding with this, Cahirlik, and I'm inside my time that this is happening while Planned Parenthood, one of the largest abortion industry groups which funds the Irish Family Planning Association to the tune of 500,000 over the past three years, has been exposed in a very disturbing and disgusting video released which depicts one of their senior official, officials casually dis discussing the shipment of aborted children's body parts to research labs in exchange for money. This was a sting operation done by undercover activists. It, it showed that their senior director of medical research really talking in a glib and horrific way which really put ISIS in the shade in my view uh, about the issue. sale of body parts. Yes, I would ask that the people in this house and elsewhere who talk glibly about deleting uh, the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution should consider the reality of what abortion is and who is involved in it. I would urge members, though it is difficult, to view this chilling video which shows a terrible callousness and cruelty of an industry based on the destruction of human life. And finally, I would call on the IFPA, and I think we as, as, as parliamentarians should call on the IFPA to cut all links with Planned Parenthood International. It is a rogue organisation which has apparently engaged in an illegal criminal conspiracy in the United States. It is Senator, not Senator, 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 completely out of order. It is simply, it is simply Senator, not appropriate for a tax-funded group in this country Senator, to be associated please, uh, with such Senator, murderous Senator people. Darcy. Clearly, can I object in the strongest possible terms to the use of that language by the Senator in respect of a very respected NGO that is up the Irish Family Planning Association? Can I just object very strongly Senator to the language that that Senator Darcy. Senator Darcy. human rights issue are simply appalling. I'm afraid her words carry Well, you're entitled to make... Senator, that's the person. Say the very Senator same Darcy. about your credentials on the issue of... Senator Darcy. Senator.